already uh, in that kind of mindset and they're following the right steps, then that kind of sponsor, you want to duplicate their results, right? You want to duplicate what they're doing. And then from there, you want to pass down that knowledge to your, your partner, right? But if we are not humble, we think that, oh, I know better than my sponsor or, you know, my sponsor is not educated as me. And so we compare ourselves, then you're already on a very difficult path on your anatomy journey, right? So why make it harder for yourself when you have such a straightforward and easy answer, right? But many still fail to see this and struggle to this day, even in anatomy, right? And so once you find uh, your uh, leverage in becoming a self-made leader, the next part is to recruit new members, right? So this is probably one of the hardest steps in Atomy. I'm sure all of you have struggled to this day finding new members. Maybe it's because you're scared. Maybe it's because you're scared of rejection or failure. But that is all part of the process, right? In life, we can't succeed without having failures. Failures is a stepping stone towards your success. The only time you would truly fail is if you would actually give up completely and you quit, right? So if you quit Atomy, that's when you actually fail. But if you don't quit and you continue to struggle and learn and be working hard, then you will eventually find your success, right? But it's just a matter of whether you can stick through all the hard times and the rejections to get there. However, if you're having any trouble explaining the products or the vision to your partners, that's when you leverage your sponsors. Your sponsors are going to be your weapon to use towards your partners and your consumers because they have more knowledge, they have more experience, so they know how to easily move the hearts of your consumers and partners uh, with a little bit of help. And so you act as that kind of middle person to bridge that gap, right? But that doesn't mean that you should leave your partners in the hands of your sponsors. Ultimately, they are your partners. They are your consumers, right? Your sponsors are just there as a form of support so that you can build your better uh, business, right? So then leverage your sponsors to the best of your abilities, but at the same time, don't leave it all up to your sponsors to do because it's ultimately your responsibility to take care of your consumers and partners so that they can grow in the right direction. Because if you do that same kind of habit, your spot, your partners will also duplicate that and they'll leave your their partners in your hands and it'll be an endless cycle of just leaving things to other people to do when in fact that if we want to succeed, we have to make some sacrifices and do our own due diligence, right? And so once we reach sales master, it's important for us to make note of the process and the journey, right? Especially if you're a first time sales master and you're able to achieve it, right? Because that journey, you probably will know it's not an easy one, right? It's definitely a lot of difficulties, definitely a lot of struggles, but maybe with that experience you've had, if you pass down that knowledge to your partners and your consumers for the first time that they're challenging, they will have a little bit of a easier time because of your experience and your know-how that you've already gone through, right? So share that and don't keep those information to yourself because Atomy is a business where we work together as a team, right? We are a team uh, business. We don't just do it on our own. Everything works together in a systematic way, right? So if you try to do this on your own, it's going to take forever for you to reach Imperial Master. But if you have core partners that you can truly trust and you work together with them as almost like family, then you can really work together to build the right foundation for your business, right? And so uh, it's important for us to continue to leverage our sponsors and they're uh, not the ones to create your sales masters for you, as I mentioned again, right? So it's up to each of us, uh, each of our individual hard work to build out ourselves, build out our own sales masterships. And then your sponsors are kind of there and whatever help that they provide, just be thankful, right? Whether it's through points, whether it's through sponsorship, whether it's through mentorship, right? All of these things, the sponsors doesn't even have to do it, but they do, they want to because they want you to succeed, Right. So then just be having a humble mind and be thankful, but rather don't think that, oh, this is owed to me because you signed me up. So you owe me this. Right. Never think that way, because that is a very toxic mentality to have for yourself. Right. You're just ruining your own success by thinking that. Way, right. Negativity will continue to brew negativity. Right. And so if you want to start off with the right my uh, like foot into the right direction, you want to build out a positive mindset 
for yourself and for your business, right? So be thankful for even the littlest things your sponsors does, right? If your sponsors pick you up so that you can, they can bring you to the Success Academy, thank them, right? You don't have to give them something fancy or treat them to a fancy dinner, but at least the gesture is nice. Thank them for their time that they spent to pick you up, to bring you to them. And so that way, because if you don't have a car, then they're taking, they're taking their time out of their day to drive you and spend their gas. And they're not asking you for anything in return, but rather they are happy to do that because they want you to also succeed and be a part of this system, right? So really leverage your sponsors, but at the same time, uh, understand that there is limitations. And so it's up to us to truly find our growing points in our business in, in this role as a sales master. And so when is a good time for us to start to challenge for sales master, right? So it really depends, right? Many people ask, and most of the time I say that it's a case-by-case -case situation, right? Depends on your financial situation, your environment, whether you're full-time or part-time, right? And like how often you can dedicate your time to Atomy, right? It really is a fixed, it's not a fixed answer. And it's a, Atomy is really flexible in the fact that you are your own owner in this business, right? So no one is going to tell you what to do. No one is going to force you to do this business, right? You don't have a boss on top of you. Or your sponsor is not your boss. So your sponsor is not going to be like, oh, why didn't you do this to this day? Why didn't you submit this points on this day, right? They're not going to do that, right? It's up to us to learn when to do the right amount of points on what day, on how to maximize our point efficiency, right? All of this is done uh, by the guidance of the system and the sponsors, but it's up to us to utilize it to the full potential, right? So in the end, if we're not applying ourselves to using this opportunity that's given to us, then the only one that we have to blame is ourselves, right? We can only blame ourselves. We can't blame our sponsors because in, they did their best in teaching us, right? It's a different story if your sponsor is not willing to teach you, but if they are, then they did their best. And the only thing that we can do is apply the, what we've learned, right? And so, uh, you know, it's important for us to continue to pursue and learn anatomy and learn about the different products. And then after that, I'd say a good rough estimate time is usually three months, right? So three months of studying anatomy by attending the seminars, attending the success academies and the different seminars, watching YouTube videos, uh, you know, being a part of the Gold Sales Master Camps and then the, all the other, uh, you know, Goal 100 and all these things that are going to build out your business, right? These are going to help you achieve that sales master a lot quicker, right? But if you slack on it, right? If you make excuses, then the only one you're hurting is your own success, right? Because no matter how many times I tell you to come, if you yourself don't have the willpower to come to this meeting, then I've done my best. I can only leave it up to you for your success, right? I can't just tie you up and bring you here and sit you down and force you to listen to me. All I can do is that pray that one day uh, you will listen and have your ears open, right? And ready to understand and learn, right? So, you know, I really applaud all of you for being here today because you've already taken the right steps into the right direction. I know many of us probably have other obligations that we might want to do or, you know, maybe we want to spend it taking care of our children, doing the laundry, cooking, or, you know, going out to enjoy the weather and so forth. But by being here, you are like consciously making a decision for yourself that you want to pursue an opportunity that no other place can give you. Right. So we have to understand why we're choosing Atomy. And if you don't, then look back, think back and think really hard about it. Write it down. Like, why did I choose Atomy? Why have I been here all this time every week attending these meetings? What makes it so that I want to be here? Right. And so these are the things that are going to help you drive and build your motivation in Atomy. But if you have no desire or understanding of why you need to be here, then obviously, no matter how hard you work, it'll just feel like a sense of dread and draining. And you might feel that, oh, this path might not be for you, right? So you have to find a reason. You have to find like a fire that's going to drive your success in Adam, right? So like, let's say that fire is that you want to make $100,000 every month, right? But I'd say that's a very lukewarm desire, right? Making 100,000, you can do that with any other business, right? But find that desire for building that success. And that all happens by doing the eight steps, right? Like the first to set up, set yourself a goal, right? Step one, 
right? You have to set a goal and a dream. So what is your dream, right? Like my dream is to build a nice, luxurious house in the top of a mountain overlooking the ocean, right? It has to be as detailed as that, right? And I want to build it for my family to visit my friends, right? And so, you know, I want to have like two dogs, right? Three children. You know, envision yourself building that image, and then it'll be a lot clearer on where your goals and your direction you need to take for you to be. If you just have a, a very general sense of your direction, like, oh, I just want to be a millionaire, right? That's not going to give you that kind of desire and motivation. Right? Anyone can say that, but not everyone can build that, right? Even people who want to be a millionaire, they have to understand like the, the reason why, right? The when, the where, the how, right? The who. All these different things factor in to building your success into becoming a true successful business owner right and so uh you know to know you're at a good uh, pace for sales master is to challenge yourself to reach sales master within the three month period and then after that you want to continue to challenge yourself every single month if possible right and so we're going to talk a little bit about that uh more but if you take too long to reach sales master it can also significantly slow your progress and then it's going to slow down your passion for Atomy, your passion for success, right? If you always say like, oh, no, sponsors slowly, slowly. Oh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sponsor, I don't want to go to the seminar because I'm too busy this week. I'll, I'll go next week. Like you're only going to hinder your own success, right? If you truly desire to get out of your current situation, whether it's because of financially or you want to pursue a new career, you have to make that conscious decision and apply yourself quickly, right? Speed is going to determine your success. The faster you pick up the pace, the faster you can uh, catch that momentum and then build out your business. But if you take too, too long, it's going to start to bring in doubt. And doubt is one of the biggest factors for failure because you're going to start to think like, oh, is Atomy truly the right business for me? I've been doing this for three years now and I'm still not a sales master. That's because you've been doing this for three years without putting in the hard work then how could you say that you're a successful sales master? You're not, right? If you truly apply yourself every single day and challenge yourself every single month, at least once a month for sales master, by the one year mark, you should become an auto sales master. Theoretically, it's possible, right? And that's because by doing that, you're doing a compounding effect onto your business. So we're going to talk a little bit about compounding later on, but that's the secret to why it's 100% successful and 100% doable if we actually apply that, right? But many of us still fail to apply it because we try to take it at a slower pace, right? If you're truly to do, if you're truly willing to do Atomy, then you have to really apply yourself and and pick up the pace, right? And so that way you kind of get motivated and see the numbers coming up because when we start to see the money coming in, it it really starts to increase our motivation even more, right? Because, you know, humans are driven by a lot of different things and one of them is greed, right? One of them is money, unfortunately. But um, like those kind of things help us feel a little bit more motivated to push for higher numbers, push for more, right? But if we don't see those because we're trying to take it slow, then it's also going to lower our desire for success, right? And so why must you go to Sales Master? We talked a little bit about that earlier, but for we, us, we, we want to do it because it's really a, a break point of whether you want to be a business owner or not, right? So if you're a business owner and you have that kind of mindset or you built out the eight cores every single day, so you're starting to have that uh, core foundation of a business owner, then you want to uh, understand why you have to go to Sales Master, right? Because it's going to help you expand your list every time you do Sales Master. Because in the end, you're trying to successfully reach Sales Master. So then what do you do when you try to do Sales Master? You start to go out to sell, right? You start to reach out to other people, right? Adam is not a selling business ultimately. But in the beginning, you have to at least sell a little bit in order for you to build out your initial consumer base, right? And then from there, you use your consumers to compound them and duplicate your consumer base, right? So through that one person, let's say I go out today, I do sales master challenge day one, I find five people on each leg, right? So I have 10 people now. And then day two, I don't go out. I contact those five people again on each leg 
And now I reach out to them and ask them if they know anyone from their family, friends that might be interested in using the Atomy products after they've used it and if they enjoy it, right? And that's all you have to do. You share that and then they're going to help you find more consumers, right? And so that initial point where you're kind of cold calling or cold meeting these people in the streets or wherever you're going is only a short period of time in Atomy. The biggest portion of it is all to have like a connection and networking through other people. And that's why this is a networking business, right? Because you're networking with what you already have and their consumption and their consumer network and their partners, their, uh, their family members to increase your consumer base, right? And by doing this, every time you're challenging it, you're slowly building that out every time. But let's say I do the sales master challenge only for the first month of the year. And so I have five people. And after that, the next month, I don't want to do sales master challenge. So I just leave it as is. Is that five people suddenly going to become 10 people? No, right? Because I'm not challenging. I'm not actually putting in the effort. I'm just waiting for those sales master or those potential consumers to maybe bring me a customer, right? But that's not how it works, right? In this business, you have to reach out to them first and connect with them and then have them introduce you as the, the bridge to other consumers, right? And so don't uh, waste at your time and don't wait, right? Because those consumers, they could easily lead to someone else. They could easily lead to a different group if that group is gonna be willing to offer them even more and preferential treatment. And that's just how people are, right? And so don't wait, always be proactive, reach out to consumers, reach out to your partners, right? Ask them if they've tried some of the latest Atomy products, right? We have such an amazing list of products Give them the option that they we have, right? If they're only using Hemoleme, maybe they have some more opportunities to use other different products. So give that opportunity for them, right? And so while you're doing the Sales Master Challenge, it also increases your focus because you are now on like a crunch time. You have only two weeks to succeed in Sales Master. So instinctually by us, we're going to be like running. We're like, oh my God, I got to do it Sales Master. So every day I'm going out trying to hit the, the goal that I set for myself. But that's good because if you don't have that, a little bit of pressure, then you're not going to push yourself a little harder, right? And by doing that, you're going to build out your business, right? So meet your partners uh, that are especially going to be your core members. This is a really big, big uh, point because like you're, while you're building your consumer base from those consumers, you might feel that someone might be a potential partner, right? Potentially, they might be someone might be interested in doing the Atomy business. And that's the person you're going to bring together and connect them with your sponsors, right? Your sponsors, this is where you use them as leverage. So your sponsors are there to help you, uh, you know, bridge that gap between your experience and the knowledge that they have. So bring them to your sponsor and be like, oh, sponsor, this is my partner or this is my consumer. They're interested in, in learning more about the Atomy business. Can you share a little bit more? And then that's where your sponsors come in and then bridge that gap. So that way you can really maximize those people. And then those are the members you want to target when you're doing the sales master challenge, because when you're doing the challenge, you're going to have moments where you can uh, put in points so that other people can also benefit and cash out and make some cash back. Right. And so by utilizing that kind of um, system, you're now on, not only benefiting yourself, but the other pe uh, people below you will also get some cash back. And those people that have been targeted to receive cash back, they'll start to generate some interest in doing the anime business, right? Because they're like, oh, what is this, right? I know they told me that this was how Daniel told me that I could receive some commission from this or cash back, but oh, this is something I want to learn more about, right? And then there's going to be people who are not going to be interested at all. They only love the product and that's fine. Those are going to be your royal customers. You just want to keep them around because you know it's important for us to have a good amount of consumers just as much as we have a good amount of partners. But there's going to be more consumers if, uh, inevitably compared to partners in the Atomy business. Maybe every like out of every 10 people that are consumers, maybe one of them, if you're lucky, even one of them might be a potential core partner, right? So what I mean by core partner is that they're actually being part of the system, part of the system, plugged in, working hard and due diligent. Not someone who just says like, oh, I want to work hard, Daniel. And then they don't come in the next week and then they just skip all the seminars and they expect that this is like a get rich quick scheme, right? But Atomy is unfortunately, we're not a get rich quick scheme. This is 
actually hard work that we have to put in and we have to actually be willing to sacrifice the time and effort in order for us to succeed. And that's just how anything is in life, right? And so how do we prepare before we challenge for uh, our sales mastership, right? And so just as you know, before you challenge for anatomy sales master, it really doesn't matter when your points come in, you just match it as ideally as possible uh, just to make sure you have some commission. But during the challenge for the first time, especially uh, for those who are doing it, especially in the first time, you might feel a bit overwhelmed, right? Because you're doing it within the first 15 weeks or 15 days, and then your time, you have a timeline for that. So you might feel a bit pressured, but as I said before, there is always a way to counter that by um, making some few tips that we can do. So one of them is to make a reservation list, right? So make a list of the products and reservations for your members in advance. So all these people that you know, before you start the challenge, it's a good idea to offer these things to your members and then let them know like, oh, Daniel, I'm gonna do the challenge now. And then could you purchase some products while I'm doing the challenge? And then we have some amazing products here. And they're like, okay, yeah, for sure. And then that's how you're going to write them down. Okay, so Daniel wants one box of Hemoing. And then you'll write it down. And then that way you already know who whom wants what product. And, and that's how you go about making that reservation list, right? And then after that, you want to also have your members who are currently with you um, changing their household product. You have to do a mark change, right? So if you already have consumers built out a little bit, then they already love some of the products help them change some of their other products that they have to Atomies, right? So if they've been using, you know, products from uh, American brands and buying it from Walmart or whatever, let them know the advantage of switching it to Atomies products. Let them know that, oh, our dish detergent is extremely eco-friendly, super safe, right? You're using these harsh chemicals on your body from these like big brand companies and they don't really care about your, your health. They're gonna maximize their profit while minimizing the good ingredients placed in their products. But in Atomy, we're able to maximize the profit of the products and minimize the cost, but at the same time, give you the most effective ingredients involved. So you can trust and know that you're using some of the best products out there and then give these reasons why and switch over, right? And then these small things come from your experience, right? So let's say like for our toothbrush, right? I'm, I'm sure all of us use our toothbrush here today for Atomy. If you don't, please, please, please give it a try. It's one of my favorite products out there in Atomy because I hate uh, American toothbrushes. I don't know why, but they're so big and the bristles are so hard and they're uncomfortable to use, right? And they just, you know, ruin my gums. But Atomy's toothbrush is so, so great, right? So soft, the gold thistles actually don't uh, hurt at all. Right? And it's in a reasonable size uh, and shape at the top. So that way you're not like, you know, expecting to uh, break your teeth by uh, using the toothbrush, right? It's uh, very ideally formed. And the handle as well is everything is designed in Atomy to be in the thought mindset of the consumer, right? When you look at Atomy's products, they always think about the consumer when they're making them, which is, I think, actually really amazing. But the consumer, like the, the handle itself is also antibacterial. Right. So if you've noticed, like in the um, other like American cheaper brands, it's like made of rubber. And so when you put it in your cup, then usually it starts to get like mold and like uh, like fungus growing in the bottom of that cup, the way that, where the water is, if it's living over for a long time. Right? And it collects and it also gets stuck to the bottom of that toothbrush and it's gross. But anatomy, uh, because of the, the way that it's built, even if you do that, it won't actually attract any sort of uh, bacteria, right? So it's great. Uh, and that uh, you can know that you're using such an amazing product, right? And so help your consumers switch over their household products all to Atomy. And that's already going to generate such a significant amount of points, right? If they're only using one, one product, it will only limit the amount of points you receive. But if a lot of their products, they switch over to Atomy's products, just Doing that alone, you're now generating a consumer that's generating at least 300,000 PB minimum uh, per month or however often that they use their products for, right? And so that's amazing just by doing that small little effort of trying to connect with them and sharing them and letting them switch over the different types of products. 
as well as the third thing is to pre-process the payment for your reservation list, right? Because, you know, it's important for us to receive the payment in advance because sometimes people can be very finicky. Many people tend to back out last minute and that could completely uh, ruin your, your path on your sales master challenge and cause like a big surprise, right? Let's say someone promised to purchase a box of Himalayan and you were like, yes, and now I'm set for today. And then suddenly they call you and say, oh, I'm sorry, I backed out last minute because I have to pay for my children's tuition or whatever. Then like you're, you're stuck at a very difficult situation. You have to like kind of find a different way to plug those pay points that day in order to meet uh, the required uh, points, right? So good idea to uh, kind of uh, lock in your sales if possible uh, and uh, have that prepared in, a, in advance when you're challenged, especially in the beginning. But later on, you're going to reach a point where you don't even have to worry because that's where you're at an auto sales master point, right? But a little bit more of that later. And then next thing is that you want to consult with your sponsors on the members that you can put the points into, right? So earlier we talked about uh, we want to meet the partners and then connect them with your like uh, sponsors, right? The core partners. This is where that comes into play, play, right? So consult with your sponsors on those members and let them know that, oh, okay, I'm interested in this person and they might seem like a potential partner. And then your sponsors will give you some advice and also like guide you on how to maximize your points during your challenge so that they can that uh, potential partner can also benefit by receiving some commission as well right so this is a good idea to do in advance uh, because ultimately we want to build out our business with having uh, finding some poor potential uh, partners during our business and uh, the reservation list comes in handy, especially during Sales Master Challenge, because there are some days we want to capitalize to maximize our points uh, to commission ratio, right? So um, these green days highlighted, they're the most optimal days uh, in order to maximize your points during the challenge. But obviously, if you can't meet it for that day, it's fine. It's not like the end all be all. And as well as Atomy's uh, purchase system has a function to backdate uh, as well as a goal a few days forward to match your points, right? So it's such an amazing system. So we don't have to worry too much about it when we're uh, doing our challenge as well. So we can maximize that uh, benefit from there. And so as you know, that for Sales Master, uh, as I mentioned before, we need to have 700,000 on our um, core personal PV and then 2.5 million on each leg, right? But uh, there's a little trick, nifty trick we can do, which is where we have 300,000 starting off for our personal PV, and then we have one leg completed, and so one leg is already making 2.5 million. And then the other leg, we're shy of just a 400,000 PV on our uh, other leg for 2.1 million. And so what you can do is you put in 400,000 on your personal PV, which balances out your personal PV to equal 700,000. But it also balances out that missing leg. So you save a, you save 400,000 PV worth of products and, and uh, whatever amount of hard, extra work that you had to put in. And so it really saves some time in order for you to maximize uh, your efficiency during your challenge, right? So that way you can balance out both your personal PV and that one missing leg and, and successfully pass your sales master challenge. However, let's say you have 2.3 million on both legs. Right? And then you only have 300,000 uh, on your personal PV. So you put in 400,000 PV on your personal thinking that it'll balance out your two missing legs for 200,000 each. But unfortunately, that one, it will not work, right? So uh, in order for the strategy to work, as I mentioned before, one leg has to be completed, right? So one leg has to have 2.5 million, at least minimum, in order for us to uh, use this technique in order to quickly reach sales master the first time around. And so the after challenge, like what do you have to do after the sales master challenge is super important, right? So this is also just as important as just the beginning of your challenge, right? Just because you successfully finished the sales master challenge once, it doesn't mean that your job is over. It doesn't mean that your business is done. It doesn't mean that you've actually made yourself into an auto sales master, right? Unfortunately, none of that is true in the beginning. All of that is a building block to your business. So then what you have to do is now you have to follow up, right? So follow up meetings with your sponsors and members who have received the commission earlier on and, and that are interested in Atomy. You want to connect them together. 
So the people that have received some commission, bring them to your sponsor and be like, oh, hello sponsor, this is my partner who is, uh, you know, we'll name them A, and they're interested in learning about the business. Could you explain a little bit more about them? I did a brief introduction, but uh, could you just share some of your insight and experience? And then that's how you leverage that so that they can now become a potential core partner for you, right? And then also bring them to the seminars, right? So if you have a big uh, success seminar coming up, right? Or a one-day seminar, bring them there because the system is ultimately gonna be your best friend, right? They're gonna be the ones that you wanna leverage along with your sponsors for you to teach your partners. Because ultimately, you know, as a beginner, you're gonna lack a lot of information. But if you just have them listening and being applied in the system, then they're gonna feel the, the impact of what's around in the environment. So if you've been to the Success Academy before, you know that the environment there is very contagious. There's so many people there. There's like usually 500 or plus, depending on uh, how big your Success uh, Academy or Success Academy is during the year. But uh, usually there's a lot of people coming and a lot of motivational speakers, right? You have your Royal Masters or Crown Masters doing a speech as well. And like when you listen to them, you feel like pumped up, right? And the same will be said for your partners as well. They'll feel that energy, right? So bring them there and leverage that to your uh, advantage, right? And lastly, follow up with your new members, right? The new members that you've successfully added during your challenge while doing your uh, sex, uh, sales master challenge, bring them up, talk to them. And then uh, if they like the product, ask them, oh, what did they like about it? And then if they have any new, um, you know, uh, for people that they can introduce you to, as well as make them into a repeat customer, right? Uh, ask them if they have any issues with the product, then help them out as well, right? Don't just give them the product expecting them that they might know how to use it properly because there are some people who <laughs> unfortunately use it incorrectly. I've had some people, when I give them the even care set, they use it in a different order. And then they started having breakouts and then they're like, oh my God, this is so horrible. And I'm like, did, did you use it in the right order? And they're like, no. And I'm like, that's why. So try again. And then they did. And they're like, oh my gosh, this is so great. Why didn't you tell me before? I'm like, I did at the beginning, but you know, sometimes people miss these things, right? And it's okay. So uh, it's a good idea for us to reach out to them. Usually after like the first uh, day or a week is good point. And then um, re uh, recap with them on how they're doing, if they enjoyed the products. And also just try not to make it too businessy, right? Yeah, ask them how their day went, how they're going, right? If they've had... Uh, any sort of issues along the way. And that's going to be also your kind of hint to introduce any other products as well. Let's say that you're talking to someone, they're like, okay, yeah, you know, I've been having some uh, issues with like uh, the, my health recently, right? I've been having trouble sleeping. And then that's like a good cue that right there. And like, oh, you know what? Me too. And lately I've been using our Atomy Lactium, right? That's a good segue into that conversation. And like, they're like, oh, what's that? And like, so you know how I gave you that Hemohim earlier? Uh, during the challenge and it's like yeah I, I really like it and introduce them to Atomy's lactium oh it's really helpful it's all natural right you know when you're using sleeping pills it's it's very harmful for your or your brain and actually just is a forced induced sleep but for our lactium it's actually a natural induced sleep because it has all natural ingredients and they're like okay yeah and then that uh, they'll want to give that a try and that all comes from your expertise in learning the products and your experience and then you introduce them into new products as well right and so you want to help them find new products through Atomy by doing those kind of things, as well as if they really like a particular product, you want them to introduce them to new cons consumers, right? So this is the key point where you're networking now, right? So you're you're going to ask them like, oh, uh, you know, uh, Daniel, like uh, I've introduced, I've you've been using this product. You've been using this product for some time now, like the Hemohim. How did you like it? And they're, I'm going to be like, oh, I love the Hemohim. It made me feel energized. And then I'm going to ask them like, then uh, do you have anyone else that you might know, maybe your potentially family member or friend that you can introduce to me, right? And then the key point is introduce to you, not so that way they feel the burden of having to think that, oh, okay, I have to do this work because they're just a consumer at that point, but that you are introduced to the, their friends or family member and you're going to be the, doing the legwork to introduce them to this amazing new product, right? And so there that, that now is going to help you create new consumers and then that's going to help you build out your consumer base and you're potentially finding that core partner in your Atomy business. And so we have a little bit more to cover, but uh, 
we're almost done, so I'll wrap it up in a bit. But we have our intermediate sales master here, which is the middle level that uh, Atomy has thankfully created for us, right? So before we had the intermediate sales master, which is now called a semi-sales, Atomy didn't have any extra funds for that. So if you reach this level, unfortunately, you only rate, um, made from the commission alone, you make around like 300, give or take, right? But through this uh, semi-sales promotion, by doing that, you're now able to uh, receive an additional $200, um, give or take, depending on your currency, on top of the $300 commission you receive, right? So this is such a big, uh, big bonus that you're receiving, and it kind of lowers that burden when you're doing this uh, semi-sales. And then the semi-sales, uh, don't stop there, and that's not your goal, right? Ultimately, your goal is to build out your auto sales master and then reach for higher auto masterships. But that's just going to be your first stepping stone if you're having trouble doing sales master, right? So if sales master is a bit too daunting for you in the beginning, try your hands at building semi sales master. But don't only do sales semi sales master uh, every single time, right? In the beginning, maybe for the first three months, do semi sales, and after that, the fourth month, try your hands at doing a sales master, and then do yourself a favor and continue to do that every single month, right? Because sales master, even if you fail. As long as you're not using your credit card to swipe for points, you have nothing to lose. We're not telling you to buy large amounts of stock. I'm just telling you to network, right? So that networking, eventually you're gonna continue to network so much that you're gonna have a huge consumer base, right? And that's all through compounding, right? The power of multiplying your partners. It'll all start with two people in the beginning, right? One on your left, one on your right. And then those two people will know also two people. So they're gonna have someone on their left or right. Right. And then they're also going to know two other people. So you're now having so many new people join just from starting with those two people. Right. So you don't have to know a lot of people personally, but you just know you have to know how to connect with others. Right. And that comes with experience. Sometimes not everyone is talented in that. And that's fine. Also leverage your sponsors for that, leverage your system for that, leverage the different things that Adamy has uh, involved. But don't be shy to use these things to invite your par uh, partners, invite your consumers, and have them learn a little bit more about Atomy, right? So that's going to help you bridge your gap into success. And then from there on, uh, in order to become a sales master, it's quite simple, right? You're at the top here. Your goal is to reach sales master automatically. Help your core partners that you found during your sales master become semi-sales master, right? If they become a sales semi-sales master, then they're making $500, and then you're now making $1,000 for that uh, time period of those two weeks, right? If you do that twice in a month, then semi-sales, you make 1,000, and then sales master, you make 2,000. But here it's quite simple. You make 1.5 million, uh, you're helping that partner on the uh, their your main leg, right? So, and then they're also working on their other leg, right? But it's important for us to work on both legs. So that partner in that uh, blue box that says P, and they're gonna to have to work on both their legs to build out that 1.5 million. But at the same time, you're also gonna help that partner on your main leg, uh, which is on the side that goes along on the very far outer, outer side, and then help them reach that 1.5 million as well, because it's a teamwork business. It's gonna uh, lower the burden on your partner as well and make it easier for them to reach semi-sales. And by doing that, now you have 3 million PV on one side and you just do that on the same side on the other side, and now you successfully reach sales master, right? The idea is simple, but executing it, I can say it, it's not easy, right? Without a doubt, becoming auto sales master is still something that many people struggle with. And it's not an easy as milestone to reach. But um, by attempting to challenge yourself every single month, at least once a month, it will push yourself, right? And then you have that stepping stone. So even if you're not successful in doing the sales master in that first initial month, it's okay, right? It's not a failure because you're just challenging. That's the point of challenging. You're gonna eventually not uh, succeed and some days, some days you will succeed, right? But by doing that over and over again, it gives you that motivation and push to uh, eventually reach auto sales master. But if you just sit and expect to just, oh, casually wait and uh, I'm gonna eventually become sales master and uh, auto sales master eventually, right? Then nothing's gonna happen for you, right? So do yourself a favor. Take your time and, and attempt at least even once a month, right? Do it with your sponsors, do it with your partners, right? Move together with them and, and plan to reach your auto sales master goal, okay? And so uh, earlier I talked a little bit about compounding. I want us to watch a little video here for us today. 
right? So I do see we have quite a few uh, Korean speakers here. So let me just add in the translation for us here. What would you choose to get one million today or one penny doubled every day for a month? One million today is tempting, and the majority would likely opt for the immediate million. But they're wrong, because a tiny penny doubled every day for 30 days amounts to 5.3 million. Surprised? Let's find out how that could be possible. You start with one penny, then two pennies, four pennies, eight pennies, 16 pennies. Already on day 15, you have more than 100 bucks. But now it gets interesting. By day 25, you have more than 100,000 and surpass 1 million on day 28. This is the power of compounding. What can we learn from this exercise? To get wealthy, you need patience. The biggest gains and returns always happen later in life because of the compounding effect. Start saving and investing as early as possible. What would you choose to get what would you choose to get 1 million today or Okay, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed that uh, little short compounding video. And that's the same for us in Atomy today, right? So we are in this business. It's going to take time. You're not going to see immediate results, but that's okay. By compounding your business every single day, you make that effort. At least one person you reach out to, right? And then next people on the next day, you reach out to two more people, right? And the next day, you use those two people that you reached out to. You ask them to introduce you to two more people right? Do those little things for your sake every single day, every single day, a little bit at a time. And then by the end of the month, just like in that video, you're going to have so many new consumers, right? And from there in that consumer group, now you can just find your core partners and help them bring into the system. And by doing that, you're just going to make it a lot easier for you to do this Atomy Sales Master and building out your Atomy business, right? And so when you break it down like that, it looks a lot more manageable, right? It makes it a little easier to understand the power of how compound, compounding and network marketing works. So I really encourage all of us to give that a try every single day. Challenge yourself to at least speak to two new people, right? Connect using your connections, right? And then compound that effect every single day and at least try to challenge for sales master once a month, right? Even if you're not successful, it's okay. By doing that, you're compounding your group, compounding the business, and eventually you're going to build out your successful network marketing business. But it all starts with you. You have to have the right business mindset. You have to have the motivation to work, right? Because no one can tell you what to do. Only yourself uh, can truly motiv motivate you, right? If I don't want to work that day, then that's my loss, right? I can't really blame my sponsors or my partners for that. But if I work hard every single day, that will now benefit me in the future. I might not see the result in the beginning because Atomy is in a way where you don't make immediate profit, but that profit will continue to grow and grow eventually. It'll start from $60 maybe once a month. And then that $60 is gonna become maybe a twice a month, right? And then four times a month. And then maybe it'll start to become six, eight times a month. And then even eventually it'll become $1,000, $2,000 every month and then 4,000, right? And so I hope that all of us here today that have come to spend our time learning about Atomy and how to become a sales master, get a little bit more motivated, right? A little bit more passionate about our Atomy business, about reaching sales master and becoming an auto sales master, right? That's just going to be the first goal and milestone in our journey in Atomy. And I want to see everyone here being able to do that. So that way, you know, it makes it a little bit easier for your journey on your Atomy journey, right? In order for us to do that, speed is of the essence, right? Don't slack, right? Don't waste your time. If you have time to waste, do it on Atomy. Waste your time on Atomy, right? Watch videos on Atomy, right? If you don't want to go out today, maybe you can watch uh, videos instead of watching Korean drama or watching Netflix or whatever. Watch a video of Chairman Hangul Park. Watch a video of Atomy's product, right? And that way you're now spending the time in the right way instead of the wrong way, right? So thank you all so much for listening and I hope you enjoyed today's lecture and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Dan Masadeo, okay, for the presentation and for being able to make it easy for us to all understand uh, how to become sales master and even go for a semi-sales master. Uh, because we have run out of time today, uh, we'll be doing the James presentation next week um so 
before we all close it off, we'll do the company moto. And then before we leave, we'll just take a quick picture. Okay. Are we all ready? Yep. Let's go. Cherish the spirit. Cherish the spirit. The great the vision. All the faith. The faith. The faith. Serve in, in humility. Aja. 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 And then we'll just take a quick picture.